Well, as Jay just showed us in Deadwood, bikers are showing up in South Dakota ahead of the Sturgis Motorcycle Rally, which officially starts this Friday. Many of them stay in towns along the way on I-90, spending time in places like Chamberlain, Mitchell, and Sioux Falls. The welcome mat is out in Sioux Falls for bikers like Lou Pavsek of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. This is his 12th year traveling to Sturgis. He usually makes a stop at J&L Harley-Davidson, sometimes just to say hi, but this year his bike needs a little TLC before he continues west. I have an issue today. I got oil leaking out of my uh, clutch cable. Pavsek says what he loves best about traveling to Sturgis is the people. I like Sioux Falls. It's, it's been, this Harley shop's been a really good shop to me. I've had different issues over the years, and it's been like a, a stopping place for me. Experienced Sioux Falls used to greet bikers like Pavsek at the I-90 rest stop at the Minnesota border and welcome them to the state and to the city. They stay in our hotels, they eat in restaurants, they buy some groceries sometimes. But complications with state rules forced the organization to pivot away from the rest stop. They're now working on a program with the State Department of Tourism to provide area hotels with promotional material and gifts for the bikers. These posters uh, will be in every, or already are in every hotel to welcome the bikers. Um, South Dakota Rally Rush is the Department of Tourism's um, biker welcome program, and we all go together to make more things happen. Um, the hoteliers should be wearing these. The swag also includes a rally bandana and a Kleenex packet. A 2022 study by Texas A&M found that rally goers spend $122 a day outside of Sturgis. Schmidt believes that amount is even higher now. But no matter what they spend, Schmidt says in the end, the goal is to make sure that the bikers feel welcome all across the state.